Hello and welcome! In this video, we will discover how to lucid dream in just 5 minutes. Hey, you ever watch Inception and think, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we could control our dreams? Well, the answer is yes. The answer is always yes. As we drift off to sleep, we tend to lose control, which plays an active part in our realities, which is why our dreams seem like such a jumble of incoherent images and feelings. But to regain that control and remain conscious, even as you dream, it would be like exploring the realm between dream and reality. This sort of uh, conscious awareness that you are dreaming, that what you are experiencing isn't real, is called lucid dreaming. And though it may lack the pizzazz of a charming Leo DiCaprio infiltrating and manipulating the dream world, lucid dreams come just about as close as it gets, which, you have to admit, is pretty cool. So, what is a lucid dream, and how do you get one? Let's see that, but just before, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to download the free book on the Law of Attraction by clicking on the link in the description below the video. What is a lucid dream? Very simply put, a lucid dream is a dream in which the dreamer is aware that they are dreaming. On average, about 55% of people have experienced a lucid dream at least once in their lifetime. The dreams vary from person to person. For instance, some people stay in the dream and simply explore their dream world further, while others may take it a step further and try to influence their minds to dream about a specific idea or situation. This is very interesting because the ability to influence your dream means that lucid dreamers can, to some extent, place themselves in situations that allow them to practice certain skills or work towards goals even while they sleep. Furthermore, by exerting some amount of control over the dream state, lucid dreamers are able to push the limits of their minds and become more creative as they explore their dreams. Like a nighttime adventure, the concept of lucid dreaming is really exciting. How to lucid dream Lucid dreaming generally occurs during the REM stage of sleep. Learning how to lucid dream involves training your mind to notice and regain your consciousness even as you enter the REM phase of sleep. Here are a few techniques that you can practice every night before bed to start your journey into a conscious sleep. 1. Mind, Mood, and Meditation The REM stage of the sleep cycle, which takes place in increasing amounts as the night progresses, is an active sleep stage in which the most vivid dreams tend to occur. This means that in order to spend more time with your dreams, to practice lucid dreaming, you also need to work towards getting more nights of restful sleep. Set yourself up for a night of sweet dreams by keeping your room clutter-free, cool, and quiet before bed. Set aside all electronics at least half an hour before you sleep so that the blue light emitted from the screens doesn't affect the quality of rest that you get. If you are extra sensitive to light or sound, make sure that the blinds are shut tightly and maybe even consider using an eye mask and earplugs to block out any distractors. Try to develop a nighttime routine before you sleep to create the calming ambiance that you require. Dim the lights, uh, take a warm bath, light a few scented candles, unwind from the day's work, and try to de-stress before bed. Meditation is another practice that can not only improve the quality of rest, but also increases the chance of a lucid dream substantially. Being more mindful in your everyday life can help you attain the discipline and self-awareness that it takes to have a lucid dream. In the words of Dr. Denham Laspey, an expert in the field of lucid dreaming, the idea here is that if you're more aware during the day, you're more likely to notice that you're dreaming while you're asleep. 2. Dream Journals 
All our lives, people tell us to chase our dreams, which would be great if we could only actually remember them. Most mornings are a blur of grogginess and residual images of a dream that is barely coherent. All that we are left with is a vague memory and some confusion. Maintaining a dream journal entails jotting down whatever you remember from your dreams as soon as you wake up. Though it may seem tedious and unnecessary, maintaining a dream journal is an essential step in the process of becoming a lucid dreamer. An important factor in determining whether or not you have lucid dreams is your ability to remember your regular ones. Most lucid dreamers have little difficulty recollecting their ordinary dreams on a daily basis. Keeping a dream journal can be a useful way to build up your memory for dreams. Even if it is just a few random scribbles at first, keep at it! It will help you maintain a record and can also be interesting to look at if you ever want to try interpreting and analyzing your dreams. 3. Reality Checks Reality checks are essentially tests that allow you to verify whether you are dreaming in real life as well as in a dream. Uh, in other words, they help you to confirm whether you are awake or asleep at any given moment. The objective is to equip your mind with the tools to do the same when you are dreaming. By constantly questioning reality, these checks improve your metacognition which is the awareness and understanding of your own thought processes, and as levels of metacognition remain similar when awake and dreaming, they could also lead to increased awareness while asleep. As you go along your day, carry out reality checks time and again. For instance, you might want to ask yourself, am I dreaming? As you push your hand against a solid wall. As opposed to reality, in which the wall will remain solid and unyielding, in a dream, your hand will pass through with no resistance whatsoever. Some common reality checks include hands and feet. Observe your hands and feet more closely. Do they look normal? In dreams, they tend to be a bit uh, distorted, so pay attention. Mirrors. Along similar lines, check your reflection for any weirdness. Time and text. Look at the clock or the page of a book. In reality, the time and text will remain unchanged. But if you look at it again, it will constantly shift and vary in a dream. Breathing. This one is relatively self-explanatory. All you have to do is pinch your nose and see if you can still breathe. Let's see if you can still breathe. If you can, you're most definitely dreaming. If not, then you should probably take a few lungfuls of air uh, before you turn blue. 4. Mnemonic Induction of Lucid Dreams Created by Dr. Stefan Laberge in 1980, the mnemonic induction of lucid dreams, commonly known as MILD, M -I -L -D, was one of the first scientifically backed methods of inducing lucid dreams. This method trains you to improve your self-awareness so that you can identify instances when you are dreaming. Similar to a mnemonic, a learning device, with MILD, you plant a cue into your unconscious mind to help you remember your intention to lucid dream. For this technique to work, you must have a decent dream recall rate, as well as being able to remember your dreams with considerable clarity, means that your dreams are vivid enough for them to become lucid. Being well acquainted will also greatly help you as you attempt to use the MILD technique. To use the MILD technique, follow the following steps. Step 1. Lucid Affirmations As you lay awake, remind yourself of your goal to lucid dream. Repeat phrases like, I will have a lucid dream tonight, or next time I am dreaming, I will remember that I am dreaming, over and over again in your mind. Make sure that you stay completely focused as you chant these mantras. The words need to sink deep into your memory so that you can recall them later on as you start to dream. Step 2. Visualize your dream. Remember the dream recall rate being important. Well, this is why. 
Once your mind is primed, relaxed, and ready to drift into a slumber, think back to a recent dream that you have had and try visualizing it with the utmost clarity and detail. Specific characters, landscapes, objects, etc. As you visualize the dream, try to identify certain signs of a dream, that is, things that wouldn't normally occur in a dream. The ability to fly, for instance. When you identify these dream signs, remind yourself that you are dreaming and continue along with your visualizing until you fall asleep. If you wake up in the middle of the night while using this technique, continue to practice these steps. As per LaBerge's findings, quote, wakefulness interjected during sleep increases your chances of becoming lucid, end quote. This means that consciously waking yourself for a few minutes might actually induce even more lucid dreams. 5. Wake back to bed. The wake back to bed technique, or WBTB, is a simple method that a lot of people use when learning to lucid dream. It involves getting into REM sleep while you are still conscious and alert. As a consequence, once you fall back to sleep, you will be more likely to lucid dream, and it only takes three simple steps. Step 1. Go to bed as per your regular schedule and set your alarm 5 to 6 hours after your normal bedtime. Step 2. Once the alarm rings, get yourself out of bed and ensure that you are fully awake. Find an activity that will keep you and your brain occupied and stay awake and alert for about 20 to 30 minutes. As you can read, draw, clean, or anything else, so long as it gets you out of bed. Step 3. The final step is just to go right back to sleep. If you are feeling too energized for this, try a bit of meditation and deep breathing and slowly let yourself fall back into a slumber. This time, more ready to lucid dream. The alarm rouses you at a time when you would otherwise be in the REM stage of sleep and the technique works by stimulating your conscious brain at this precise moment. As you fall asleep, your body will continue where it last left off, taking you right back into the REM stage, but this time in a conscious state. 6. Become a Gamer Odd as it may sound, a rather fun way to become a lucid dreamer is to play more video games. A study conducted in 2017 found that frequent gaming is associated with the ability to better remember both lucid and regular dreams. The ability to recall dreams is a significant part of lucid dreaming, and, based on the study, playing video games can boost memory for dreams. Given the intense immersion of the player, in the fictional setting, which is on many levels similar to what a dream is, the correlation between video gameplay and lucid dreaming is a reasonable one. On a final note, lucid dreaming is most certainly an intriguing concept and can, on many accounts, also be used as a form of therapy. From overcoming phobias to facilitating emotional healing, there is a lot that can be achieved through a lucid dream. For a person who suffers from recurring nightmares, for instance, lucid dreaming allows them to exert some amount of control over themselves or even their dream situation, which can help them cope with the nightmare. Remember, however, like any new skill, learning how to lucid dream will also take time and patience. It won't! happen overnight. You need to keep at it and keep making a conscious effort to achieve it. With lucid dreams, you can blur the boundaries between what is a dream and what is real. In a very Freudian way, through lucid dreams, you can gain access to the unconscious mind and along the way, maybe even learn a bit more about yourself, your fears, your motives, and of course, your dreams. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to the channel. You are also free to receive the new book, How to Use the Law of Attraction in Three Simple Steps, by clicking on the link in the description below the video.